Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Sandy. I'm a licensed and marriage family therapist. Today is the last video, the seventh video of my seven step communication series. And I will be covering the topic of validation. All right, so let's get started. Let's talk about validation. Validation I saved for last because I believe it's one of the most important and powerful skills that you can use when communicating effectively. Okay, so let's talk about what validation is and is not. What it is not is I'm just agreeing with what you're saying. Um, I may not agree with you, but I can still validate you. A lot of people don't understand that concept, and I want to try to break it down for you here for you here today. So if someone is telling me something that I don't necessarily agree with, um, the power of validation can be used here, where I am listening to the speaker's experience of how they saw the situation so it's it involves empathy it involves me putting myself in their shoes to try to see the situation through their eyes and again again i don't have to agree with them i am listening to how they experienced it and what i'm validating is their experience their emotions about what happened can we come to an agreement later or can we sort out the facts yes However, in the beginning um, steps in trying to hear out or validate someone's position, um, you have to just track and empathize and validate that person's position as a legitimate position to have. So I hope that's making sense to you. So once the person understands that I understand them and I really made an effort to see it from their point of view, what that does is it really disarms any kind of defensiveness or opposition they might have had when they first sat down with you and it creates a bridge to now really negotiate or understand one another in a less heated way and the emotions about it may be less at this point a little dissipated all right so now we can actually discuss and negotiate when discussing a, a difficult topic with somebody, start with the end goal in mind. So if your end goal is to create understanding from the other person to the other person, then validation is the way to go. If we focus on who's right, who's wrong, we can do that for hours. And if we start with trying to understand the other person's point of view, we can wrap this up in 15 minutes I, I swear you can so I just want to leave you with this you know a lot of these things I'm teaching you is very powerful knowledge is power however knowledge is only potential power if it's not practice okay so practice equals progress so try it out apply it in all the ways you can with anybody you can validate yourself validate others and you'll see that it does work all right I swear by it all right thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video coming out very shortly thank you aloha okay one last thing i just want to leave you with one resource there is a book i highly recommend it's called i hear you by michael Sorensen. it is available in audible and on hard copy i got mine through amazon and not affiliated with him at all but i really um, recommend this book it's very short it's about a two to three hour read and it breaks down validation, what it is, how to do it, and it breaks it down into four components. So I highly recommend that if you're interested in learning more. All right, thanks.